Oh, my darlings, how exciting. It's the director of the movie herself, Madam Maxima, you ride hard. Max, over here. She's coming this way. Ah, uh, Professor Reinhardt, it's Luella Carter. Welcome to the opening of your new cinematic sensation. Thank you, Luella. I'm, I'm sure you all know that Professor Reinhardt is considered one of the most distinguished directors working in live theater today. So tell us, Max, did it scare you a little directing your first motion picture ever? No, no not really. But no, not really. Oh, Max, you're priceless. Now, do I hear an accent in your speech? Are you from abroad? Yeah, I'm from Austria. From Austria, how adorable. And what brings you to the United States? This is going to make you laugh. It's a funny story. There is a man in my country named Hitler who is killing people. Ah, yes, of course. We're just thrilled you got away. Wait. Oh, oh, it is. It's Mr. Dick Pal. And for this, I have left. With this in mind, exactly one year ago today, I got to see Jack Forner of Warner Brothers Pictures. Mr. Bonner, I say to him, you are a great producer and famous man, but you have not yet achieved the respect you deserve as man of innovation and artistic vision. So what do you say about making a movie and Shakespeare play in this summer night dream? You're an idiot! Okay, but what do you say? Listen, Mel, can I call you Mel? Sure, but my name is Maximilia. All right, Max, I've been asking around in Belgium. People tell me you're really smart. It's true, I am genius. All right, and you'll understand this perfectly. It's a dumb idea. Am I right, Daryl? Yes, sir. Now, why do you think we made a movie? It just take a while, yes. Yeah. To make artistic contribution to world culture. Wrong. Well, we make movies to make money. Movies and money. They even got the same first letter. Mm. But what if you use that money to make a Midsummer Night Dream? It's another end. And so is Moron. It ain't gonna happen. But you could make it happen. You're an idiot. Okay, fine. I did a project with Adam Zucker at Paramount. He's begging me for a picture anyway. And you're also alive. And he's right, of course, I lying through my head. But at this moment, a miracle occurs. A fairy princess like in Shakespeare play walk through that door and change everything. I'm a bimbo. <laughs> That's what they call me, Jack, a bimbo. Look at this, Photo Play Magazine, the 10 biggest bimbos in Hollywood. And who do you think is number one, the queen of the bimbos? Take a guess. You. Bingo, you got it, Jack. And do you know why, huh, do you? Because I do all the stinking pictures you give me. But honey, pie. Got my mama, remember that one, and hold my pistol? But they made you a star. A star? You call this a star? Look at me, I'm in a stupid French foreign legion picture. Oh, Major Wadley, I feel so frightened by those nasty heathens surrounding Fort Chutney. How will I ever get back to my ancestral home in Dundee, Scotland? But, sweetie pie. Don't touch me. Now, I want something decent for a change. Something with prestige. You're making biography pictures. Give me one of those. I'd be great in a biopic. I could play Madame Curie. Listen to this I wrote it myself. Oh, Dr. Mendel, just look at them squiggly things under the microscope. I think they could cure something. Something bad like disease. Wait, we'll call it penicillin. Oh, wait, just did it, Dr. Picture about Louis Pasteur. Well, they ain't the same person, are they? She has points. Who's she? How do you do? I am Maximilia Reinhardt, and I'm a famous director. Hey. Goodbye. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Alas, there's nothing here for me to do. I have just offered to make classic prestige picture for your boyfriend here. Shakespeare picture. Only he told me he just got a leading lady who could perform in such picture. That's a lot. Shut up. What's it about? It's about Fairyland Forest with my handsome king named Oberon. Wow. He and his helper, named Puck, devised a plan to use a magic flower to make you fall in love with the very first person you see. This is really good. So Oberon uses the flower and a group of lovers who have fled to the forest. One of whom could be you, Lydia Lansing, in the role of Helena, a ravishing young maiden who speaks only in poetry. Holy cow! Don't listen to her. Why? Because you want me to appear in nothing but junk? I want this picture. Well, you can't have it because I ain't making it. Am I right, Daryl? Yes, sir. Shut up, Daryl. Yes, ma'am. Jack, listen to me. I'm going to say it slow and calm so it's really clear. You get me this picture and you make it fast or you never touch these hips again. Comprendo? Somebody listen, major acquaintance. You win! And so it happened that in a flash of magic, I was soon making a movie on the Midsummer Night Dream. And I can assure you that all four Warner Brothers could not have been happier. Oh, from it, To the Enchanted Woods.
where lovers meet in grace and dream. Ha! Robin, good fellow, come hither. I hear my own Swift as a shadow, and free as the lightning of the colony. Whither one? Over hill, over dale, through bush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire. I do wander, I fear, swifter than the moon's fear, and I'm so I want to suck your blood. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> you mess with Rocco, you mess with me. <laughs> no research necessary. Hey, big boy, why don't you come up and see me sometime? <laughs> yeah, hang me from the highest shadow. <laughs> Where in the depths of hell are we? I have no idea. I gave him one instruction. Lead us home from Athens to the enchanted wood. But no, he has to flub it up. We are such stuff as dreams in me. That sounds like your old self. Oh, shut up! I've just had one of the longest nights of my life. First, I have an argument with my queen. Then, I have to sort out poor Athenian lovers. Then, I spill the liqueur of the magic flower in Titania's eyes, and she awakes and makes an ass of herself. Or, he does. Father does. So she goes with it. Good joke, haha. Uh -huh. Then it's back to the lovers we watch them play. We give them our blessing, and by this time, I'm so tired I can drop. And all I ask for is one good night's sleep, and you can't even do that one. But, well, I know I use all the usual spells. I, I bathe the moon like a wolf, I roll my eyes, I sweat around three times to the left, and... Uh-oh. To the left? Well... You know I spin to the right. I, there's the rub. I have a blockhead for attention. A coddle padded, thick guy, three suited, ignorant, is too good for having him, no more brain than a mortal. Do you anything to say for yourself? Um, I think we came to the wrong wood near 